Hello fellow bookworms, welcome back to my channel. My name is Annie and since I filmed my bookshop tour a couple of weeks ago and I had so much fun doing this, I decided to do another video. And I don't know if this is going to become a regular thing now, but in the meantime you can always find me on my blog, Annie the Book Princess, and I'm going to leave a link to that down below in the description box. So be sure to head over there and check that out. I post all kinds of bookish content about once or twice a week on there. So for today's video I decided to show you my physical TBR, meaning all the books I bought during the last couple of years and I still haven't read yet. I mean, you know the struggle. So and since I read both in English and German, there are a couple of German translations on the list and I'm going to get to that. So this is my entire physical TBR. There are currently nine books on it or eight books and one comic and I know this might not seem much because I know some people have like 20 or 30 hundred books on their shelves but for me it's honestly quite a lot because I still remember the times when I used to buy a book and then read it almost immediately and the maximum number of hundred books I had on my shelves were like three. So for me nine books is a lot and for you this is probably still convenient because this video isn't gonna be like half an hour long. So the first book on my TBR is The Quiet at the End of the World by Lauren James. This is a science fiction novel and it is about Laurie and Shen who are the youngest people on planet Earth after a virus caused global infertility. This book takes place in London and the two of them spend their days hunting and searching for like buried treasure and then one day it says on the back they uncover a secret that threatens their entire existence. So from the reviews I've read already I've heard that this book is more of a quiet and positive sci-fi so it doesn't have all the action and aliens that you probably would associate with the genre but I've heard that the tone of this is very positive and I've already read another novel by Lauren James which was The Loneliest Girl in the Universe that's a YA novel and I quite enjoyed this one so I am excited for this one. <laughs> The next one is Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. This is a YA science fiction slash, I think, superhero novel. And it is about a teenager named David who once witnessed the murder of his father by a so-called epic named Steelheart. And the epics are humans with uh, superhuman abilities. And from this day on, David seeks revenge and his dream is to join the Reckoners, who are a group of ordinary people fighting the epics. So this sounds fun and action-packed and fast-paced and it has superheroes and I'm currently very into superheroes. And also I read Skyward and Star Cyber Brandon Sanders and I absolutely fell in love with this writing. So I'm really excited for this and I'm pretty sure I'll like it. The next book on my TBR pile is the German edition of Dead of Night by M.R. Forbes. This is an adult fantasy novel that I got about two years ago at a book sale at my local bookstore because it seemed like a good idea at this time and yeah, well, I still haven't read it. This book is about a guy named Connor Knight and he has the ability to bring the dead back to life but he himself is very sick and he is only staying alive because of a secret and forbidden drug. And then one day he gets a job offer by a mysterious guy and he can't say no to that offer, whatever it is. <laughs> Sounds pretty mysterious. But then Connor will find himself up against ancient or possibly evil powers that he may or may not be up to. So I mean, yeah, this sounds mysterious and probably kind of fun and badass, but I still haven't gotten around to reading this and I honestly don't know when I will. The next one is a German book called Splitterwelten by Christoph Dittert and Michael Peinkofer. Honestly, I'm not sure if this is a YA or an adult book, but it's definitely a fantasy. And my mom got this for me also at a book sale. And the uh, very short text on the back basically says, a young magician going on a secret mission, that was not supposed to rhyme. <laughs> a thief with a deadly mission, a slave who doesn't have anything to lose, a thousand world fractures, and dark destiny that connects them all. There was a time when I used to be very into this kind of book, but honestly, I'm not sure if I'll ever read it. Maybe I will in a couple of years, maybe I will give it away, who knows? At least the cover is pretty. <laughs> The next one is the German edition of Promise of Blood by Brian McClellan. This is the first book in an adult fantasy trilogy. I got this at the Frankfurt Book Fair two years ago um, and I really want to read this book but it is huge and I'm not always in the mood to get into a whole new big ass fantasy series. So uh, what initially drew me to this book is the blurb. It says the Age of Kings is dead and I'm its murderer. It sounds pretty cool. And it's about a world where the king has just been like taken down. And there is a rumor arising that the old gods are gonna come back onto earth and take revenge and also from what I've gathered the main character has some really cool powers because he can control gunpowder which sounds pretty unique and pretty fantastic so I'm definitely gonna read this book one day I also Brandon Sanderson has blurbed it I mean that says it all doesn't it I'm definitely gonna read it one day but I just don't know when <laughs> The next book is Contagion by Erin Bowman. This is a YA science fiction novel and I definitely can't wait to get to this one because I'm in a science fiction mood lately. It's about a small space crew who receive an urgent SOS message from another crew on another planet and they go there to investigate. But when they arrive they find the entire crew to be dead and they only see like scattered and discarded weapons and stuff and there seems to be like an evil alien presence on the planet bent on taking them all down. So this sounds super spooky kind of like sci-fi horror and I've read another sci-fi horror 
horror book lately that I enjoyed pretty much but I couldn't read it before going to bed because honestly I would have been so scared but this sounds amazing and I can't wait to get to it. Then I have the German edition of Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. This has been on my TBR on Goodreads like forever for at least like seven years and I finally found an old copy at a used German bookstore that I visited last year and I was super happy that I found this edition because this is actually out of print in Germany by now. It's really cool and I got this for just like a handful of euros. So Mistborn is the first book in a which I hope very epic adult fantasy series. I think that's Brandon Sanderson. He's like the modern king of fantasy and honestly I don't even know for sure what it's about it sounds super complicated and I know that the magic system is really really cool and the premise to this book is like that the bad guys won and then what happens after that so I'm super excited to read this because I feel like Brandon Sanderson may become one of my new favorite authors but again it's a huge fantasy and I don't know when I get to that Next up is The Burning Maze by Rick Riordan, which is the third book in the Trials of Apollo series. And I actually haven't read the second book yet, and I also don't own the second book. I have to get it from the library someday when I'm in the mood for some fun middle grade fantasy because as we all know Rick Riordan's Percy Jackson series was pretty damn fun and I actually haven't read the synopsis on this book yet and I won't do it now because I don't want to get spoiled for the second book. And the final one I have is a comic collection. It's Avengers World by Jonathan Hickman. This is the first volume in the Avengers series that came out in 2013. And I haven't read this yet because I only got into comics last year and I haven't read up to this point in the Marvel Universe yet. So this is gonna be on my shelves for a while, but I just couldn't resist when I found this in a bookstore because I believe you have to read comics in print because it's just so great to look at the artwork and to have it like as an actual book. And also it's floppy. I like it. <laughs> so these were all the books that I currently have on my physical TBR and like I said before for me it's a lot of books and I don't know when I'll get to all of them but I know myself and I'll probably buy new books in the meantime anyway. So if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel or my book blog that I've linked down below and I don't know when I'll be back with another video but I had a lot of fun filming this today so it certainly won't have been the last. Happy reading guys have a good time bye! Oh my god it smells good.